hey everyone welcome back to my channel so here i'm gonna show you a family medicine question about sports injuries so let's get started uh, we have a 23 year old woman comes to the physician because of moderate pain and swelling of her right ankle after twisting it yesterday she has no history of serious illness no medications normal vitals but examination shows moderate edema of the lateral aspect of the right ankle like this and ecchymosis below the lateral malleolus and tenderness to palpation of the anterior aspect of the lateral malleolus while the posterior aspects of the lateral and medial malleoli are non-tender which is amazing why is he mentioning that let's see neurovascular function the ankle is intact nothing wrong the patient can bear weight which is really important as she walks across the room and has been using a set of crutches in addition to recommending two-day ice pack application part of the rice protocol which of the following is the most appropriate next step in management we want to know guys whether this girl or woman has a fracture or not that's the main aim of examination and so the examiner keeps ruling out stuff keeps mentioning stuff related to examination why is he mentioning that there is nothing wrong in the posterior aspect the lateral and medial malleoli why is he mentioning that neurovascular function is intact that she can bear weight all this is to rule out a fracture according to the ottawa rules and that is important because we don't want to do an ankle or a foot x-ray to every patient that comes in with ankle pain or twisting injury we want to pick only the patients who are likely to have a fracture and perform an x-ray for those and so these auto rules came up because i want to filter out only those where an x-ray is indicated through examination findings when is an ankle x-ray indicated if i'm suspecting an ankle fracture when would i suspect an ankle fracture if there is tenderness at the lateral and posterior malleolus so posterior aspect of the lateral malleolus the last six centimeters that's right there when you press behind like press at the back not at the front she had pain at the front i'm not concerned with that i'm concerned with pain at the back because that what might indicate a fracture and if there is pain in the medial malleolus as well if that's the case tenderness here then this patient needs to do an ankle x-ray but she had none of that what if she has none of these but she's not able to bear weight for four steps still an ankle x-ray is indicated so if she has pain in the malleolar lesion an ankle x-ray is indicated if she cannot bear weight or if there is tenderness in these areas now that's if i'm suspecting an ankle fracture let's say i'm suspecting a foot fracture hence a foot x-ray will be indicated in that case now what examination findings suggest there is possible foot fracture if I palpate the midfoot when you when there is pain in the midfoot and I palpate the base of the fifth metatarsal right there at the little thing at the little toe when I palpate the base or I palpate the navicular bone where you palpate the dorsalis pedis pulse here is where the navicular bone is and you see that there is tenderness here or the patient cannot bear weight still that is an indication for a foot x-ray so in summary if a patient has pain in their foot and they cannot bear weight regardless then an x-ray must be performed now would it be on the ankle or would it be on the foot is the question based on which area is more problematic for the patient all right guys hope this helps now let's see how to uh, answer this question it looks like she has no fracture whatsoever it's just a simple sprain so there is no, no need to do x-rays of the ankle neither stress x-rays nor even normal x-rays 
and there is no, no need to do any splinting because splinting is usually done for fractures and so the only correct answer would be C which is to use a soft protective brace on early range of motion exercises she only has a ligament sprain or stretch and so she just needs to keep it in place until inflammation resolves and takes NSAIDs and ice, all this good stuff. All right, guys, hope this helps.